I just think it's incredibly hypocritical, Crystal, the way that they're handling all of this. And we've talked about this previously. Listen, you know, treat people like adults. Pe treat people equally. And, you know, the San Francisco approach, I actually think it's fine. I'm like, yeah, tell them. Fine. Okay. As right. long as you take that approach for everybody. But we know they just didn't do that with COVID. And that's what bugs the living hell out of me. Well, what yeah. bothers me yeah. is just, I don't want public health officials trying to psychoanalyze the American yes. people and exactly. trying to like figure out what we can handle and what we can't handle and what that's gonna cause in 10th <laughs> order downstream effects. Right. Like have enough confidence that in our somewhat democratic society, we can behave as adults, we can take in the information, we can evaluate it with regards to ourselves and our families. I'm not sure about the COVID comparison because obviously, I mean, a million Americans died from COVID. So sure. it's just not comparable. But only 7,000 people also have monkeypox. There's also way so. more infectious yeah. COVID. So the idea of everybody having to take measures to stop the spread makes a lot more sense than whereas monkeypox you have, it's spreading yes. very specifically in one particular subgroup of the population. Population. So I'm not sure that that comparison really totally holds up. But for me, the bottom line is just, yeah, give us the information and then we'll figure it out, you know, and give us the advice about what you think makes sense and what doesn't and what the risk is. And then we can evaluate it for ourselves. Um, don't try to, you know, like Fauci at the beginning of the mm -hmm. pandemic, like telling us, oh, masks don't really work. Or changing because, what the population will be. Right, like, well, exactly. when we reach under 10,000. I mean, that cases. was the herd, uh, yeah. the herd immunity thing was almost more extraordinary than the mask thing because yeah. he actively admitted that he changed his answer of what herd immunity was based on what his assessment of what the American people could handle was. What? We didn't ask you to do that. We asked you to give the facts. And if there's a range, and okay, some say it's this, some say it's that, you know, personally, I think it's somewhere in the, okay, fine, give us the range, give us the full information, just because it's a nuanced or complex set of facts, that's fine. But the idea of you have to, like, handle us with kid gloves, and we can't really handle the truth, and you're going to blatantly lie to us in some circumstances because you think really it's in our best interest. No. Yeah, I'll no. tell you what I meant. Just to clarify on the COVID yeah. thing, I'm not saying everyone should take precautions but I'm saying that it should just be a blanket advice to everybody in the community, in the subgroup. And what they're saying is they're trying to manage both emotions on their side and not. Listen, the WHO just came out with guidance, which was clear as day. They said, hey, men who have sex with other men, you should limit your partners at this time. That has not yet been reiterated except by one public health agency in the United States. The CDC is not offering this recommendation under fear of igniting homophobia. That's the problem. Issue the guidance. If people want to risk it, that's on them. It, it, seriously, I actually don't care. Like, that's on you. I also, I mean, I don't know about you. This it would only heighten concern for me, for my friends who are gay. I'd just be like, hey, you know, just be, like, check out the advice. Like, be, I'm not gonna tell you how to live your life, but like, I want you to be healthy. You know, the opposite of the so-called, uh, you know, igniting homophobia or whatever. So yeah. uh, what I'm saying is issue the guidance. Then if people want to carry it out or not, but don't try all this management and, oh, well, we have to, we can't issue any lifestyle guidance to gay men because that is somehow homophobic. As I've said, it is the op, it is actually homophobic in itself yeah. to say that gay men are to not hide. every, just like any other Americans who deserve the straight truth from the government. Yeah, the they deserve government. to understand what the real risk yeah, factors are. Thank you. That, that's all I'm saying. Cable news is ripping us apart, dividing the country, making it impossible to function as a society society and making it impossible to know just what is true and what is false. But the good news is they are failing and they know it. That is why we're building something new, a new mainstream, a healthier one, something more trustworthy, something that we are going to need in one of the most pivotal times in American history. We are building up here for the midterms, for the upcoming presidential election, but we need your help. So if you can help us out by becoming a premium member today at breakingpoints.com, we're trying to change America for the better and the entire world. So what are you waiting for, guys? Go to breakingpoints.com and sign up and help us build a new mainstream.